Hello dear friends, my name is Jitendra Bapna. I am a senior MuleSoft architect. In this video, we will going to learn a three operation provided by MuleSoft Salesforce connector. One is on new object, on delete object, on modify object. So basically on new object means whenever any new record get added into Salesforce object, it will be received by a Mule application using on new object operation and Mule application will do the further processing. On modify object, in case of on modify object, if any record get updated in Salesforce object, okay, that record will be picked by MuleSoft on modify object listener and it will do the further processing. On delete object, whenever any record get deleted in the Salesforce object, okay, that record will be picked by on delete object listener and MuleSoft will do the further processing. So let's start. Uh, do on new object so basically let me drag and drop a on new object and i will start configuring my on new object so i can do the connector configuration by click clicking on this plus sign then i will provide my username i can copy my username then i have to give my password in my case the token is not enabled generally you have to provide the token a security token but in my case it's fine it works without security token so i can say okay then you have to select a object type in my case i will be working on account object the since what is a since since means you can read it out here this is should be this must be in the format yy mmdd R minute and second this is the example if this field is empty this operation retrieves the selected object from the time the mule application started so generally I generally uh, give this particular date because what happens let consider you have deployed the application and like uh, if you want to uh, restart the application or if you want to redeploy the application in this this case what will happen it it will not pick the record which has been added between that you know application deployment and the restart okay so for that i will always keep you know this particular date so i can say 0 to 2020 11 i can give yesterday date okay so i can configure this then i can configure a frequency of 20 seconds the next thing i can drag and drop a transform message In transform message, I will convert my object payload into JSON payload and simply I can say JSON. Then I can log this particular record. Okay, so I can say payload. So let me save the application. So I can save this. So once I will save this or I need to restart the application sorry. So let me let application to start. So meanwhile we will try to add some records into account object. So I can say new or let's wait while application to start for the first time. So I am waiting for my application to start. So here if you look at the Salesforce connector you have a various ob or, or listeners. So one is like, you know, you can see all the listeners here where it's gone. Yeah. On deleted object, on modify object, on new object. Okay. So these are the three operations we will going to see in this particular demo. So I am waiting for my application to start. Once application start, we can go through this. So till, till the time we can start creating a uh, or let's wait you know we can create it uh, later so let my application to start first once application we start we will see now it's starting the application I'm waiting for my application to get started generally it doesn't take that much of the time it quickly start now it's zip and
so my application has been successfully started and you see that there are few records I have added so it has picked that particular record okay so let me do one thing let me add one more record so I can say jack2 you know phone number so I can say you know state is MH then I can say 400789 you know so I can say country India whatever so I can save it as soon as I save it the record will be picked by you know will be picked by the mule soft so let's see so this record has been picked so you can see uh, jack2 which we have given and like other details whatever phone number and whatever so this is how uh, when we edit the record it will automatically pick by this particular on new object listener so let me go with other on new sorry on modified on modified object and I can see account then I can provide a date 2020 11 28 12 00 so date format is always yy mm dd no? hs mm hs so again i will give the face fixed frequency of 20 seconds you can define a crone expression also then i can use a transform message to convert my object into json payload then I will use a logger so I have modified one record in the past maybe it, it will pick that record so I can type a payload so let me see my application okay, so let me modify a few of the record so let me go my to account object okay so I will go to my account object I can modify this particular record then I can add you know billing city equals to Mumbai that's it and I can provide some street address so let application starting as soon application will start it will pick the record yeah it you can see the record has been picked up so you can see we have changed jack to you know and like we have provided some like billing country billing state you can see all this detail has been as came here you know so now next thing uh, we will see on delete object So let me drag and drop on delete object I have already done that not this one this is a net suit on delete object but I want Salesforce on delete now I will start configuring it's the same configuration so configuration doesn't change you can see account here I want to give 2020 11 Okay, so fixed frequency of 1000 millisecond, I can make it to 20,000 millisecond. Then I can use a transform message. I'm just converting my object into JSON payload. Okay, JSON payload, and I will do the logging. I can done the do the logging then I can say payload now try to save this particular application so it can get redeployed so these are very handy operation when you want to keep the two system or multiple system synchronization right so as soon as any record get added 
any record get deleted any record get modified that can be synced with other systems so let's wait while application is still deploying once application is deployed we can delete this particular record so I'm waiting for my application to get redeployed okay it's redeployed let me delete some records I can delete it let me delete one more you can see the application is still starting so as soon as application start it will pick the deleted record so you can see I have deleted two record both record has been picked so I've deleted jack2 which has been picked I have deleted jack1 which is also picked up so now what I will do I will stop the application okay so I stopped the application and now I will modify some of the records and I will add one or two records I can say edit and I can change this phone number to something else and just save it meanwhile I will start the application and also I will add one record I can say again the key a phone number I can provide some phone number then I can provide some billing state address I can say Mumbai I can say 40079 I can say India MH okay the application this will show the importance of the scenes you know which we have configured to the yesterday's date so let's wait my application is redeploying if you would haven't if you haven't defined a since it means it will pick the record when the mule swap application is started so you have stopped the application and you have done the modification and the addition of record and then you are restart starting the application in that case the previous record will be not any newly or modified record will be not will not be picked if you haven't defined that since value you know so like I defined my since to yesterday so from yesterday any record got any record got modified which has not been picked up and which has not been processed it will automatically pick those record you know so let's wait while application is deploying and you you, you will see like you know uh, like we have modified one record and we have added one record you will see both the records so I'm waiting for my application to start So this is very very useful when you sync two systems. Okay, it should pick the records. Yeah, you can see the two records. It should pick the both the records. So one of the record where we have added this uh, Jackie. So it, you can see that here. And one of the record which we have modified the account a1 g1 gvn you can see that so whatever changes we have performed we can see it here right correct so this is how you can use on modified on delete and on new object with your salesforce connector and this is very useful when you want to synchronize a multiple systems i hope you like the video if you like the video click on like and subscribe button thanks for watching